Dear students, today we are going to start a new chapter that is triangles and the objectives of this chapter are classification of triangles, triangle is possible or not, angle sum property of a triangle, exterior angle property and Pythagoras theorem. So today we will go through with these first two objectives of this chapter. So move to the basic definition of the chapter. So here you can see that I have divided this triangle into two parts. First is tri and second one is angle. So tri means what? Tri means three and angles mean angles. So triangle mean three angles. So here a triangle is a special polygon with three sides and three angles. Or we can say that a triangle is always having three sides as well as three angles. Now here you can see that a shape of triangle in which A, B, B, C and C, A. A, B, B, C and C, A are the three sides of a triangle and these points making three angles at the corner points, right? As angle 1, angle 2, angle 3. We can also give them a numbering. Also, we can give them naming as angle A, angle B, angle C, right? So, this is a shape of triangle with three sides and three angles. So, students, now move to the classification of triangle that you have already done in the previous classes in 6th as well as in 5th standard, right? So, we will just quickly recall the classification of triangle. So, now classification of triangle is we can classify the triangle on the basis of two things by its angles and we can classify the triangles on the basis of its sides. So, now let's start to classify the triangle by its angle since you have learnt a lot about angles in the junior classes you may remember the angles as as they are three types of angles so what are the three types right angle acute angle and obtuse angle right well what would happen if we will use the third line this line if we will use the third line here and can you please guess the three kinds of triangle we will form Yes, if you will use this third line from here, it will become a new shape that is of triangle. You can, you can see here, these are the three triangles. Now, it was before right angle, now it will become right angle triangle. Earlier, it was acute angle, now it is acute angled triangle. Now, here earlier it was obtuse angle, now it is obtuse angled triangle triangle right now you can notice that in each of the three angles in each of the three triangles new angles so forming are acute right so now you can see that in every triangle there are two at least two triangles two angles which are acute right so that means in every triangle there must be at least two acute angles right so, that doesn't mean that in every triangle you will just only see that any two angles and this triangle will be acute. No. For example, I am taking here a triangle, right? So, 60 and 60, that is acute angle, right? Because the, these all angles are below 90, that means acute angles, right? So, this is 60, this is also 60, this is also 60. Now, all these three angles are same or equal, that is 60, 60, 60. That doesn't mean that it is acute angled triangle. It will be equiangular triangle. Right? So now we will classify the triangles on the basis of its sides. Right? So now here you can see that I have taken here these three sides. You can see that these are the two sides of the same length. Right? And this is the side of different length. So, what does it mean if I will use these three sides and this type of figure I will form? So, now we will call this figure what? We will call this figure as isosceles triangle because a triangle in which two sides are same and one is different. This will be called is isosceles triangle. Now, in the next shape, I have taken the three sides and you can see all these three sides are same and are of equal length. Now, if we will have the three sides of equal length, 
what we will call this shape we will call this shape as equilateral triangle right now in the next figure you can see that all these three sides are of different length so now if we will have these three sides with a different length and we will form a figure that will be triangle so what we will call this triangle we will call this triangle as scalene triangle right so now this classification you have already learned in your junior classes in fifth and sixth as well so now you understood about the classification of triangle so move to the further topic that is sum of all angles of triangle is equals to 180 degree that also this property also you have learned in fifth standard as well as in sixth standard and you have also done related sums of this property right so we will just recall this property what is the angle sum property of a triangle that is sum of all angles of triangle is equals to 180 degree right so now we will do the related sum whether a triangle will be possible or not whether a triangle is forming or not right so now here you can see that a question let's read the statement is it possible to have a triangle with the angles of measure 60 degree 30 degree 90 degree right so now we have just now classified the triangle on the basis of its angles as well as on the basis of its side now this is a question related to the classification of angles on the basis of its angles classification of triangles on the basis of its angles right so now here this is a question in which they have already given us three angles right now we have to prove we have to give them a solution that whether they are these three angles are forming a triangle or not so now Let's take these three angles as angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, right? So, I have taken here angle 1 as 60, angle 2 as 30, angle 3 as 90 degree, right? So, now we have just learnt about the property. Sum of all angles of triangle is equal to 180 degree. Now, we will apply this property here. But, now the question is about whether a triangle is possible or not whether a triangle is forming or not it is not about find the third angle so we will apply the property but we will write the statement as well whether the triangle is possible or not so here the triangle will be possible only if the sum of all angles of triangle is equals to 180 degree so we will write here triangle is possible if sum of all angle of triangle is equals to 180 degree right so here what does it mean sum sum means plus all angles of a triangle how many angles of triangles are there three angles so you will write an angle one plus angle two plus angle three is equals to 180 degree right so you will not put equals to you will put a box here because we need to prove that whether a triangle is forming or not right now now how come we know about whether a triangle is forming or not because when all these angles add up to 180 degree then only they will satisfy this property then only the triangle will be possible right so here all these three angles are here so you will add up all these angles now by adding up all these angles we are having 180 degree so now it is satisfying this property sum of all angle of triangle is equals to 180 degree that means left hand side is equals to right hand side you will put here equals to mark because both these angles are equal so you will write here therefore triangle is possible right so this was a very easy example so now in the case you have different angles and by adding them you are by adding them up you are having the sum as 150 170 190 which will not be equals to 180 what you will do then you will just put there not equals to that means those angles will not satisfy the property of sum of all angles of triangle is equals to 180. That means triangle will not be possible then. Right? So these are the two cases. And you have already done these cases in 5th and 6th standard. Right? So we are just revising these sums. So now what is your homework? So your homework is exercise 18A and question number 2. Right? So now students. You can see that here exercise 18a and the related sums 
are question number two and these are very simple question now you can do them very easily because these are related to this example we have just done now right whether the triangle is possible or not thank you dear students today we are going to start a new chapter that is triangles and the objectives of this chapter are classification of triangles triangle is possible or not angle sum property of a triangle exterior angle property and pythagoras theorem so today we will go through with these first two objectives of this chapter so move to the basic definition of the chapter so here you can see that i have divided this triangle into two parts first is tri and second one is angle so tri means what tri means three and angles mean angles so triangles mean three angles so here a triangle is a special polygon with three sides and three angles or we can say that a triangle is always having three sides as well as three angles now here you can see that a shape of triangle in which a b b c and c a a b b c and c a are the three sides of a triangle and these points making three angles at the corner points right as angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 we can also give them a numbering also we can give them naming as angle a angle b angle c right so this is a shape of triangle with three sides and three angles so students now move to the classification of triangle that you have already done in the previous classes in sixth as well as in fifth standard right so we will just quickly recall the classification of triangle so now classification of triangle is we can classify the triangle on the basis of two things by its angles and we can classify the triangles on the basis of its sides. 